Hi everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and welcome back to my channel today. I'm happy to see so many new subscribers and I'm so happy to see all of you back that have been following me for a while. We're going to talk today about burnout. Burnout is real. And if you've ever experienced extreme burnout, you know how that can affect you financially. I've talked about this in one of my other videos about how when you get burnt out, you end up spending more money. And I will link that one at the end if you're interested. But today we're going to talk about what to do when you're already there, what to do when you are burned out in every aspect of your life, but you're still trying to live frugally and you need to live frugally. Burnout can cause you to have scattered focus. It can cause you to be overstimulated, maybe traffic noise or engines blaring, music, people's voices. All of those things can just add to more agitation when you're already so burned out. I don't know if you've ever experienced where you have just felt like maybe you need to fall to your knees and just stare at the floor or sit in a chair and stare at the wall and that that just sounds wonderful to you. If you're to that point, that is like extreme burnout and our schedules can make us feel so disconnected and that is a sign of feeling disconnected. Um, when we're just going through the tasks of daily life, but we're not really engaged with the things that we're doing. We're just trying to get through the next thing. Burnout can deplete your energy. It can make you emotionally exhausted. It can cause you to mentally distance from people that you care about. And it can make you even become more negative or cynical in some of your reactions to people. It is a type of exhaustion that's not cured by a vacation or getting time off. I was a fan of David Cassidy growing up, and one of the things he said right before he passed away was so much wasted time. That is something that has stuck in my head because a lot of people feel like going through the day-to-day -day motions of going to work and taking care of your home when they look back at it as they are older, they think they just wasted a lot of time. So it's so important that we be able to enjoy life as we're going through all of these daily tasks. And to be able to enjoy them for me, it requires that we live frugally. And if I get off task or off plan where I'm not focused and I start spending too much money, which then adds to more stress. In 2022, over 4 million Americans quit their jobs every single month of that year. Can you imagine? That's how overwhelmed we were as a nation. And people, some people are still in that state. They may not express that to you, but they're feeling it. Stress and burnout and fatigue can be so severe that it can be crippling. And when it becomes crippling, that's when our mental focus is off. And that's where it can really mess up our finances. I wish that we had like a mental health day that we could take in America. I think that mental health days are so important to get a little bit of a break so that you don't get to that extreme. And I think it would be curious to know how many people call in all the time because they are burned out. So these are some of the things that I do when I'm feeling burned out so I don't get off of my frugal path and mess up my finances. These are the few of the things I do to try to stay in a rhythm so it doesn't mess up what I have planned before I got into this feeling of overwhelm. The first rule is to make being frugal easier than not being frugal. And a lot of people think frugal takes so much work, but there's a lot of things we can do that actually make it less work. And by making it less work, it's easier for us to try to get refocused 
and back into a rhythm of being able to strategize and be more on task and be more in the moment. Some of the things we can do to try to relax ourselves a little bit is to take tasks away from our everyday living. Things like washing our clothes so often, maybe wear your clothes a time or two if they're not dirty. If you've been in air conditioning all day and you haven't got sweaty and you haven't done anything to get dirty, wash your clothes less and take some of that task away from you. Wash your towels once a week. Again, taking some of those tasks away from your day-to-day -day schedule. Here's one of the things that I like to do when I'm overwhelmed. I like to get into nature. It helps me so much. And I wanna show you this clip of one of my favorite places. We're talking about stress and fatigue and decision-making today. I just had to bring you to one of my favorite local spots. Now look at this bridge. I don't know how long that they will leave it like this, but how many of you have seen a bridge with no sides? We used to come down here when I was young, take off our shoes and socks, go down there and wade. And you can wade about as far as you can walk and it's all about knee deep, at least it used to be. It's a little higher right now because we've had so much rain. See how green it is? Usually things are already dying this time of year in Kansas. But such a relaxing place to come, sit down, put your feet over the side and just sit here and look at nature. Nature brings me back to center. Nature makes me realize that all of my problems are usually man-made problems and that this is what is real. This is everything. This is God made. And isn't that what matters is being able to be here, being able to soak up this beauty, hear the birds sing, relax, breathe the fresh air, and just let all of your problems just sink into the background. So I hope you enjoyed this favorite spot of mine. I just wanted to share it with you today because like I said, they've redone a lot of the bridges in our area and I don't know how long this one will be here. Sometimes if you're even quiet, you can watch deer cross the river. Some of the other things that I do to make frugal easier than not being frugal are meal areas that I can throw together quickly with or without a plan. So let me show you one of the things that I did in this next clip to make being frugal easier than running to a restaurant or trying to buy something on the spur of the moment that was more ready-made. One of the things I do if I'm feeling overwhelmed, stressed, don't have a plan is I'll just throw something in the crock pot. These beef tips, I cut up a while back when I had that beef steak that I bought on clearance very cheap and I'm just going to cook it. I don't even have a plan. I know tomorrow's going to be busy. I have some things yet I want to do today. So the important thing is just getting this cooked and then I'll figure out what to throw in there or what to mix with it later. But at least that much will be done. I learned a long time ago from someone that your future self will thank you for stuff like this. And that has stuck in my head. Sometimes I do things like this for my future self. My future self doesn't have a plan yet, but my current self is overwhelmed. So my future self is going to thank me for throwing this in the crock pot either this evening or tomorrow to throw something together quickly and easily. I have some frozen pieces of celery in my freezer and I cut these off of my celery when I was making celery sticks and there's nothing wrong with these pieces. They just weren't choice pieces that I could use at the time. So I just stuck them in a baggie and froze them. I'm going to throw them in 
with the beef tips because celery and beef tips really complement each other no matter what I decide to make later. If I decide to make braised beef over rice, beef stew, anything like that, this will be fine in there and it will cook up and it will taste really well with the beef. So I'm just going to toss it in even though I do not have a plan. For me, being able to accomplish something, even if it is as small as being able to make the meal that maybe will last another day for leftovers makes me feel better, makes me feel more centered. Other things that we can do is to plan self-care time. And I remember when I had kids, self-care wasn't even a word back then that I had ever heard of. And I was one of those people that put everyone before myself until I was totally drained. And doing that actually is the opposite of self-care. Sometimes you have to make time for yourself to get back focused so that you have more to give others. Some of the ways that you can do that are getting some exercise, taking a walk, getting extra sleep if you can, eating nourishing foods instead of grabbing that takeout when you're stressed spending time to refocus, or even choosing something to plan that you can look forward to. Many times we feel so strapped and so stressed and so overwhelmed that we forget to plan something that will make us feel like everything we're doing is worthwhile. And we need to have those plans in place of things that we look forward to, to get us back on track. So I hope that this has been helpful to you if you're feeling stressed or you're feeling burned out to know that you are not alone. Many of us feel like that. We just don't always express it to others. And trying to get back on track alone is hard. So maybe try some of these tricks and let us know how you get back on track when you're feeling burned out and how you stay focused to stay on budget and live frugally when the instinct is just to make it easier and grab something that costs more. I hope to see you in the next video and thank you for spending time with me today.